Talking about the game that shocked me, I think it was truly an invention. I realized that games have that kind of power. Hello everyone. This is Yoshiki Command, a YouTuber who energizes Japan. Thank you for tuning in today. Today, I'll talk about a game that shocked me when I was young. I'd like to talk to you about various titles and prizes I've received, like The Legend of Zelda. In the midst of various games like Dragon Quest and Momotetsu, there were also Nobunaga's ambition and romance of the Three Kingdoms. But I was really shocked. So I'm going to talk a little about the achievements of the game industry from behind the scenes. I'd like to dig deeper, even though it might not be that deep. I want to talk about it around the time the Baka released those types of games. However, I think that PC games were a niche market where there weren't many sales and profits. But the historical games the backer chose really influenced Japan later. When such games were released, they had a tremendous impact, making elementary and middle school students very knowledgeable about the Sengoku period. And it even showed up on tests. It was really detailed. And when I asked about it, they said they were playing a game called Ambition. You can get a general understanding of the Sengoku period, they might tell you to study the mountains there, but if you leave it alone, they'll do it on their own. I remembered even the names of generals I had never seen or heard of, and I remembered place names too. I obviously thought it was an adult game, so I didn't expect it to become something for kids. And I was really surprised when I read that news. That's the kind of power games They realized have. it? I don't think they hoped for it, because it's a PC game. At that time, not everyone had a PC, and they were releasing PC games, so I don't think they were targeting children, but kids naturally noticed. It's better not to think of anything to have a smooth playtime, even if it's fun for a bit, because what happens to this department at that time can't be predicted. They would memorize it completely. I think it's really amazing that young kids are now talking about the names of the 36 Buddhas, the turning to Nanpuchi at that time. When I was young, People who talked about Sengoku era warlords or the romance of the Three Kingdoms were just old men. Only old people know about that. The grandfather who loved reading would always say, you have to read, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, there are novels that are easy to say, but they are long. It might take a year to read this one. It was a time like that. Kingdom is a minor subject, right? Mr. Hara wrote it. It's about the story of Qin Shi Huang. It's surprising that the story of Qin Shi Huang has become so popular and trendy. Everyone just calls it rework or something, like Leverman. Even though they really? didn't have it, something I never like thought their names would be on everyone's lips. I think Kuwe created an era. One of the reasons Mr. Roy really worked hard and kept releasing the Nobunaga and Three Kingdoms series is that he captured the market with historical simulation games of the K-Type. Once it gained decent popularity, they quickly shifted towards action games. Armor series? The weapon series was also great until then. It's kind of niche for people who like simulation games. I thought it was a company focused on reducing the greatest common factor. It's an action game. This game was great, like Samurai Warriors or Dynasty Warriors. With that, the younger generation quickly got excited and its recognition increased. Social games also made the Three Kingdoms a common theme. Originally, in Asia, the romance of the Three Kingdoms was really famous, so it was always popular. Really, I thought it would become this popular in Japan. This is really Mr. Koi's Musu series. I think it was thanks to this success, but now we have things like Gundam Musu and Zelda Musu, and the Musu and series then... has become incredible. Personally, I wanted more attention on the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, but somehow the Warrior series got more attention. It's That's not quite glowing. right. As a company, we have achieved great success. Let me talk a little bit about the invention Koei-san, who was a general. You quantified it. Now it's obvious, isn't it? It says No Code 91 and Western Style 100. Guan Yu Break 99 is written here, for example. I don't know, but this is really important. I don't know what thoughts Mr. Shibusawa had when he created this. Isn't it surprising? The impact on the current game. The numbers I just mentioned, aren't they just as you imagined? That's right. Kohei-san put this on first. The games from the company we joined later. 
to us. It's true. I can give a rating that goes far beyond that. Keep it up as a pioneer. We worked hard and made a big impact in the gaming industry. To be honest, your vocal, for me, I think it's different. I think it's different. There are points where I feel that way. But when I adjust the numbers the way I think, users get disappointed. They say, that's not right, is it? Quantifying it was really amazing. And I think it's important for our perception of historical Japanese warriors, whether this existed or not. It wasn't refined to this extent, right? It's important to recognize that some people are good at certain things and no others aren't. And that's reflected in the numbers. It came in from time to time, didn't it? Of course, for less famous warlords, they just kind of randomly assign sloppy numbers, like 50 or 40, but that's also part of the communication. Then I think to expand the stones, it's easy to understand. So if I could go back to my time and make it first, I would like to make it myself. About that much. The team that decided the numbers first, Team Sarasara, is really enviable, I think. Oh, one more. I think this is Matsume. Everyone is handsome. Isn't this amazing? If it were me, they'd call me monkey face or fatso. I think it's because of the action games. It's also to highlight the character's features. I heard that all male voices were asked who wanted to control which character. This is the Aidan group, the inventor. All the men are handsome. So it doesn't matter which department you go to, right? Because they are handsome. Especially in the East, almost all of them are handsome. I really think this is a great invention. Yeah, because of all this, J Japanese youngsters now know the names of warriors from the Three Kingdoms and the Gokuera. Era. I'm really grateful for it. And I want it to spread more and more. But recently, the enthusiasm seems to be cooling down a bit. I feel like something happened. I wonder what would make everyone study the Three Kingdoms more. What would make them study the Sengoku period more? I'm thinking that if there's this kind of content, wouldn't it work? Wouldn't people study this? Wouldn't this kind of business be possible? Something like that. I'd like to hear your opinion. Today I made such a video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. We are also on Twitter and Instagram, so feel free to follow us. Thank you very much. Goodbye.